All right, everybody. Uh, so at this point, do not watch this video until you first watched the SketchUp Birdhouse tutorial and followed along with it. So you should have watched this video right here already. Um, now, I'm assuming that you made the birdhouse. Now, one of the questions I have for you guys is how did this, what error did this guy make that he never addressed? He made a, a crucial mistake in here um, and never addressed it. Now, one, one of the important things about you know modeling something you're actually going to build is that you you model the all three dimensions of every piece uh, of wood and that you put them together in the way that you're actually going to put them together. Well, he didn't. He made an error in that regard. So here's my version of, of his birdhouse. I took my materials off so you can see it better. If you orbit around to the back here, you'll see this funky thing going on right here. What is this even about? Like why, why do you have all these pieces of wood overlapping? Well, that's because um, he didn't he didn't move it to the right spot. And I'm going to show you uh, how to fix that. First of all, on, with your select tool. Select this bottom piece, which I made a component. So um, he, we went through in the video, he showed you how to make things components. And one of the great things about that is you can hide them. So we're going to hide that entire bottom piece. Okay. And now if you look at it kind of from the bottom here, you can see, so like this component over here, you can see that that front piece is a piece. And then this side piece is a piece. But look, see how it's overlapping with the back piece? Well, same thing with this side piece over here. It's overlapping with that back piece. Well, you can't have two pieces in reality in, in the real world. They don't go to get they don't go through each other like that. You know, you can have a butt have a butt up here, you can have a butt up here, but you can't have them go through each other. And he's having them go through each other. So what we need to do is we need to take this this piece, this back piece, and move it so that it's even with the side pieces just like the front pieces okay so that's confusing just follow along we're going to select that and, and it'll outline in blue then you're going to hit the move tool you can press m or you can go over there and select it i just like to use the keyboard shortcut now you see as i hover over this piece it gives me all these different points i can select i'm just going to select this corner this which from this view, from my orientation here, it's going to be the um, the left corner of that piece. I'm going to do a single click and then start to move it along this edge. And you'll see it kind of wants to snap back here. So now I'm going to make my second click. And now I've successfully moved my piece. So I don't have to change the dimensions of this back piece. That's fine. Um, but I will have to change some dimensions. So that's the second part of this. I'm going to go ahead and unhide the bottom piece just like we learned from that tutorial so unhide everything now and as i orbit up here let me zoom out a little bit you'll start to see um, that look the roof pieces i got two roof pieces that are two separate components and i got the bottom piece it's its own component it needs to be a little bit longer okay so this is one way uh, or, or one thing that needs to be fixed now. So how do you change a component? This is another really great lesson, a great learning opportunity here, because we made these pieces, we made the components, but now later on we realize we made a mistake. We need to go ahead and change the parameters of that component. So how do you do that? Well, we're going to click on it to select it, right? You do a single click, right? What happens if you do two clicks? It's going to select that component you're going to go into edit mode so I'm going to do that again if I if you come up to the component that you want okay or we're gonna to have to do that one let's go ahead and do the bottom piece if you do two clicks you're going into edit mode then you can start to edit things we're just gonna pull it back uh, this back piece right here I'm gonna select that do a single click and pull it back I'm just gonna make it even with something on that back side so in this case it's gonna be the out the end point of this other piece so I just do my second click there, and you'll see it, it makes it even with, with all that. So you can do the same thing up here. Go into Select Tool, triple click or double click, sorry, double click that. And then come up here to this part that you want to move back. Bring it to that edge in this case. Okay, looking good. Orbiting around the other side. Okay, so this is how you do it. Make sure that you hit that select tool. I hit the space bar, by the way, to hit my select tool. 
uh, that's a keyboard shortcut, you can use hit the space bar. You come into your select tool, which is this first tool up here. Then you're going to double click the component you want to edit. It goes into this edit mode. <clears throat> and then we're going to use our push pull tool. Click on this back side that you want to extrude or, or pull back in this case. Now, if I keep going like this, it's kind of confusing because of the angle that I'm orbiting. But if I just kind of move my mouse around for a second, it's SketchUp's going to say, oh, you want to inference to this face back here. And so you see it says on face outside active. That means if I click now, which I'll do, it's going to go ahead and pull back the piece that I had previously selected and make it even with the back face of that other uh, plane or component. Okay. And so now I can select out of all of my other components. And now this is what you want to see. I'm going to take this opportunity to share with you guys that this is a really cool way to go ahead and model and get a concept, a concept to conceptualize how all the different pieces of your birdhouse would fit together. So a lot of times students, they start this project and they're like um, making, you know, they're, they're just putting like, when they start putting it together in their brain or on paper, they're like just putting pieces of paper together. And it's like, oh, yeah, it'll fit together like this. And you don't realize that a piece of wood has thickness to it. So you can't just, hold on. You can't just put things together as if they, they don't have any depth. A piece of wood has thickness like this, right? Oh, camera. So, um, you know, you have to realize that a piece of wood is going to fit together on another piece of wood like this. It's not just... It's not just some random stuff that you're like, oh, they just kind of like go together and the edges uh, will just sort of magically melt together. No, you, ha you have to have the width of one piece meet the thickness of another piece. And so SketchUp and doing this is a really great way to conceptualize that better and see how everything's actually going to fit. Because look, we made a choice here, and you can make a different choice with your birdhouse. This component right here fits together with this component in a very specific way. Um, it's going together, you know, like this. But you could have just as easily had it go together like this. And that will make a difference later on for how all, all the pieces of wood end up fitting together. So this wall, this side piece, it could have been uh, covering up the end grain of this piece of wood and this piece of wood. You know, it could be instead of inside the birdhouse, if you will, it could have been on the outside of the birdhouse. Another way for me to illustrate that is with this floor piece. You see how it covers up everything on the bottom? Well, it doesn't have to. Uh, tell you what, let's just delete this. Um, can I delete it like this? Okay, now I can delete it. All right, so instead of having instead of having the thing uh, start here and come all the way across here, okay, and cover up the whole bottom, um, I'm going to start it here on the inside and come up. Oh. Wait a second, something seems wrong. Oh, I, hit, I hit control, that's why that happened. And now I'm gonna now the piece is just on the inside. So to create the thickness, instead of pulling the thickness out toward me, I'm gonna push it up into and, and to show you that so you can see it happen, I'm going to hide this component. Okay. And now you can see inside the birdhouse what's gonna happen. So for the first way to do the floor. You make the, the whole rectangle cover up the bottom of all those other pieces and then create the thickness. But you could just as easily, and this is true when you build your real life birdhouse, you could just as easily take that and bring it up like this inside. And I hit 15 millimeters because we're working in millimeters today. I could just as easily do that. And so now the whole thickness, the thickness is the 15 millimeters. All those pieces are 15 millimeters, right? Well, with your birdhouse, which I'll tell you later, the thickness I, I think is going to be like half an inch um, when we're working with inches. Um, so you see the thickness of that piece is inside. So now the bottom piece, the thickness of the bottom piece is hidden. 
but you can see the thickness of the walls exposed like that okay so different ways to build your birdhouse and it might make a difference for you at some point depending on how complicated your birdhouse gets okay i've gone on long enough thank you guys for watching this thank you for fixing your birdhouse and um you know next week when you start to design your own birdhouse you're going to have to make decisions like this so just be prepared for that okay peace